28 people out of a job after the Jacksonville School Board made good on its promise to cut positions and save money. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard live in studio. Question tonight is, Kimberly, who's getting pink slipped? Then several reading aids, special education aids, and a licensed practical nurse, leaving parents to worry about kids not getting the help they need and teachers becoming overwhelmed. School's out for the summer. An abandoned playground waits eagerly for the first bell to ring. We've not had nothing but good with Jacksonville School District. But the Jacksonville School District, like so many others, is dealing with a budget crunch. Because of the uncertainty of federal funding, uh, we made the decision to reduce those positions. She's talking about seven aides who help students with reading. 22 more special education aides are also being cut, but not because of money. The goal is ultimately to teach independence. To those who can benefit from it, parents and teachers who craft lessons for kids who need special help are shifting their school of thought, encouraging kids to not rely on one-on-one -on -one help, but instead soak up the same education in the classroom with everyone else. If it is written in there that the child requires a one-on-one -on -one attendant or a one-on-one -on -one aid that will that'll continue to be provided. The district says it's just no longer needed for everyone. Not all parents agree. That does concern me. Um, I mean, I think the special education students need the extra attention. And the teachers could use extra help, but the district says those who lead the classroom are more than ready to deal with the changes. And I don't look at it as a shift of work. Um, I look at it as how do we best meet the needs of the students. Any way you slice it, 28 people are still losing their jobs. It's very unfortunate. Um, I think th those who are losing their jobs is extremely unfortunate. I, I mean, I, I hate that for them, but I hate it for the students even more. The move is saving the district more than $650,000. Even with that money, they're still battling a budget deficit as they gear up for the first day of school in mid-August. Vince. Thank you, Kimberly. All of these positions are power professionals, meaning the district needed to only give these people 30 days notice if they're being let go. However, since the cuts were approved in March, most were expecting to get this notice any day.